Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Chess Former. Now, this is what happens when you take chess and you turn it into like a Mario style 2D platformer. So, so we've got our king piece here. You can see from a top down sort of thing, we can move to any of these places. So if we do, let's say we move up to there, gravity comes and we fall down to this platform because it's a 2D platformer. So we can just slide across like that. If we want to get up there, we've got to do the diagonal. Then when we get over here, oh, how do we get up there? We can't. We're going to have to go under. So boosh, boosh. Then we can get to their piece and boosh get out of there so for this level we have the rook now i'm really intrigued to like just to see like how they're all gonna move so presumably this one yeah we can go just right all the way can we can we get past this gap like if i were to click there oh we can we can actually go ah okay so yeah we can teleport anywhere so if we go to that point that's how we drop down so we want to drop down over there as well and then presumably just drop boost see you later Right, then this level, we've got the bishop. Now, the bishop is probably my favorite chess piece, probably for obvious aesthetical reasons. Uh, but this one, as we know, we can go diagonal as far as we want. So presumably, we can like go up to there. And then when we're over here, we can go up to that point. Yeah, where we drop down. Then we can just go down to the bottom. We can go over to like there, I guess. Yeah, then diagonal up. Boosh. See you later, queen. Right. So now remember, I'm in blue. We've got two pieces. We've got the king so we can move over. And actually, what happens? So if I take the the rook and I just land on our head, do we? Oh, that looks painful. <laughs> that looks really painful. Um, and it means actually from this point, we can hop over to there, which is quite handy because uh, then well, then we can literally win. We can drop down to there. Go over to there. Boosh. See you later. Ah, right. oh, we got the knight. I love I love the horse. Um, so I guess, do we want to do like a bit of platform? I assume if we like head over this way, we can't actually get up to any of those, can we? No, of course we can't. So if we head back this way, we can go up to there, up to there. Just hop our way across these, up into that spot. And then we can go, we, and then boosh. See you later, queen. Right, what have we got here? Ooh, we've got the king over this way we can bring the king down which i imagine is probably what we want to do so let's do that we can then bring it over to here then i imagine we use we use these bishops so if i go to that point then i'm on there we can oh we can get this back up that way if we were like one lower we wouldn't be able to either okay so that's actually quite good so we get you up to that point probably do the same with this one so bring that up to there then I imagine we want to go, let's shove you up here. We'll bring you over this way and then put you up there. Oh, I've just realized actually I'm screwed here. I can't do anything. Were we meant to take the king up? That's what I'm wondering. So let's restart this level. And then I think what we want to do is put that there so that this one can jump on its head and then get up there. Then we can use that. So that the king can jump up like that. There you go. All right. So then we can just move this guy over here. Then go up there. And then the king can use <laughs> use them as a step. Which I feel like is quite realistic. I can imagine that happening in real life. Anyway. Red king. Boosh. You're gone. All right. What have we got here? We got two knights. Anyway. Let's get you up to that point. Then I'm not really sure where we want to go with you. Because this one, we can't get on top, can we? No, it'd be too high. So if we... Oh, actually, look. If we weren't onto your head... Yeah, if we jump that way onto your head, we can get into there. Yes. Then we can go up here, which means, I think, if we then move this one to that point, this one can jump onto its head. Boosh. And then we can reach this. Nice. Then we can move this horsey down to there onto that one. We can jump on its head again and then boosh, 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 boosh. <laughs> Gotta admit, I love, I love booshing stuff. Right, Mr. Rook, the castle. What are we doing here? What are these platforms? Can we, oh, we can, we can jump up to platforms if we're under them. Oh, that's quite useful. Okay, so we can go to there. We can then go to there. Boosh, boosh. Oh, nice. This is good. I'm getting achievements like anything as well. Right, so on this one, we've got three pawns. That's P-A-W-N, YouTube captions, if you want to try and demonetize me. Um, so, I reckon we can jump up with you. Oh, did you notice their first move? They could do like a double. That's probably needed, isn't it? So, there we can jump up to that point, and then we can just move once. And they can only move up as well. 
Oh, that's quite cool, actually, because we, we are playing chess. But it's like chess with gravity, almost. I didn't even realize. So for this, how do I get this one out of the way? So, oh, this is this is a king. I thought it I thought it was a rook for a second. So we can use you as a staircase. That's fine. So then I think, yeah, we go up here, up there, up there. And then we can make this prawn sandwich jump up to there. And then this king can go to there, up to that. Nice. Then we can just drop down onto this one. I like to make the most out of my, my prawns, my peasants. So if we go higher, then boosh, really crush it. And then we're up and then, yes. Right, we're on to the 10th level. Oh, I've got the queen. Now, the queen can go in every direction as far as it wants. So this could be quite easy. But looking at the level, there's quite a lot going on. I think we're going to have to make use of the diagonals, really. So if we go, let's just have a look at like what diagonals we can do from different points. Yeah, so what I'm thinking, we start here. Then we can go diagonal up to that point. Then we can come over here. Here, I think that place because then we can diagonal up there because we can go through that gap easily then we can jump across I'm guessing to there because then we can go diagonal down and then over to here we can just go whoop, through the platform and we're on to level 11 wow and there's really not a lot of chess pieces on this one so <laughs> so we've got the knight we got to get to the king so if we go to there there's really not much choice in terms of what direction we go. I imagine going up is the right call here. Because then we can go to there. Oh no, I thought we could get across that. That's too far. Okay, we go back. Then I think if we go over to the right, we're going to get stuck, right? Yeah, we can't go anywhere. So we'll go back this way and go up there instead. All right, then I think I want to get up to that point. So if I go to there, I should drop down. Then I can get up. Then we're in this gap. Then we're in that gap. Then we're over here. We can then go down, up back to there then we can go up those two and oh man that was a long a long route all right anyway the red king is in the middle so that's what we got to get to our king is down here i imagine we're gonna have to use our king to get up there because yeah look there's a street across there so i don't think our little horse will get across there so i guess if we go down and then oh no are we stuck i thought i could get out there but i can't <laughs> Oh, that was a fail. That was a fail. Right, restart, restart. Editor, delete that or you're not seeing sunlight for another three days. All right, I've just restarted. What do we actually do here? Hang on, let's have a look at this. Oh, do we get it to the top of the board? Because then we can choose whatever piece we want. Ah, yes. Now, I imagine a queen makes the most sense, right? Because then we can do anything. Although we can't do anything. So yeah, I think we do actually need the knight just to make this like diagonal up there. So if we drop you down to that point, maybe move you back. I think king, you're going to have to, yeah, you're going to have to jump on the horse's head and then you can get up to this point. Um, I think from here though, if we shove you there, I think this knight, you can go on top and then you can get up here. Yeah, nice. I'm guessing then down here, but it probably didn't matter what piece I used, right? Could have been any. Still, we'll go up to there, boosh. King is crushed. Right, so this one we've got a rook up here. We've got the strongest chess piece down there. We've also got the king down here. Now, since the king we got to get to is there, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get this rook down to where the king is because then we can do the upward strike. So how do we get you out? We can put you up there. But I think in order to get out, you need to land on someone's head, don't you? So what I'm thinking, we move the king out the way. Let's say over to there. We can then take you up there, up there. And then, oh, you can come all the way up to there, actually. Okay, that works. You're then stuck. But if you go to that point and then up to there, then you can be the footstool for this guy. So we drop to that point, go all the way over to there. And then, ah, oh, over here, we now need to get another footstool underneath. Now, I imagine I could do it with you still, right? Because I could go to there, go to there, drop down that point, and then go to there. You can just drop down, and then you're here. Then you can drop onto the king's head, over to that point, and then, boosh, right in the butt. Right, and then we have all the pieces. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I think we got to make a chest tower. So if we put you there... We'll then bring the king over. You can you can jump up to there. And then these horses, if you stop there, you can go on top. However, then we won't be able to get another one on top. So I think this one, we come over, shove you there. Then you can go 
higher. Yeah, but we don't want we don't want two knights on top of each other here because one of them has to be here already. So if we just move you back one, we can then shove the bishop there. And then when you go on top, you can go on top of there. And then we just move bishops back so that they can go up there and up to there. And then this guy, whoop, zoom over to there and then boosh. See you later. Okay, so we got a queen, we got a horse. What are we going to do with them? I think we've got to work out where do we want to get to in order to get the king, basically. Because, yeah, what it might be, we actually need to use the the queen to get the horse up there. Because once the horse is, yeah, either up on the top there, we can put our queen on top and just diagonal down. Or we can potentially, if we put this queen, like, there... Then we can shove the horse like on top and then we can get to the king. Okay, that's what we've got to do. We've just got to work out how. So horse, you're going platforming. I think we can go to there, then drop down. Then horse can go there and jump up, jump across there, jump across there. Then I think I probably need the queen again, right? So if I shove you there, you can go on top. And then yes, you're up that way. So we put the queen on that point and then horse can go boosh, boosh. <laughs> I hope you're not drinking every time I say boost, by the way, or you're going to be a right mess by the end of this. Anyway, stinky bishop. Yeah, if I move that rook off, we can bring the pawn up and get a new piece. The question is, does it matter what piece it is? I'm just looking at where the king is. I think it does matter, you know. I think it has to be, it has to be a knight again, does it? All right, I did knight. I was just, I couldn't see behind the menu, but I was thinking there, maybe I could just jump across. I don't think I can, so I'm not convinced I've got the right piece here. Let's undo and grab maybe just the queen, just so we got more choice. So if we take the queen out of here... Oh yeah, I don't think we can bring... We can't bring you down, are we? You're trapped up there. Oh, I, don't, I can't use any of these pieces, can I? Do I need to? Because I can just diagonal there, go up. Yeah, then we're stuck. Right, just looking underneath, there is a diagonal here where I could get this up. So if we went to that point with the bishop, we can go up to there. Yeah, then we lift the pawn up and then you can come to that point. And then when we drop you, you can escape. Yes, okay, I think that's what we needed because then we can bring you back this direction like that. So if I just put you on top, I can put you over that point and then you on top. And then if we make this the queen, we can then escape pretty easily and then just go up to there. And then, oh, I've done a queen again. We already worked out the queen can't make it. I just made a ramp for no reason. <laughs> right, we start again. I think we're on the right lines. I just did like one step too far. So if we shove you up there, you down to there so you can fall off, you get turned. I think we will, we will keep the queen. I think queen is pretty needed. But when we move you, don't go all the way down. I think we want you to land on this guy's head. And then also queen down there. Uh, but yeah, with, with the triple stack, we can bring you over to that point. And look, this is where we do actually use the queen. Because we can go to there, diagonal on top. And then around this way. And then onto that platform. Oh, that made me think, that one. Oh, this one, we have a key. As well as two locks. I wonder how this works, honestly. So I think as before, we probably want to do that. So you have a platform there. That means you can get over this lump. I think for now, I won't go too far though. So we'll go up to there. We'll bring you down that way. Then yes, yeah, to get this to escape, I think. So if we drop you down once, then you can sit on your head and then you can escape up there. So you can go up to that point. Can we then use the rook to help out? So I think if Rook was on that platform, then we could have this on top and it would be able to get up to the key, I think. Yeah, so if we go to there. No, I think maybe just drop to there. Yeah, because then you can go to that point and then you're on top. Then you're up to the key. Then you can get the key. Oh, and it unlocks both of them. Nice. So it looks like in order to kill the king, we're going to need you. So we'll take you up there, take you over this way. Yeah, we can get you out the way just by doing that. And then boosh, boosh. I don't know why I did one step there. Boosh. <laughs> right, oh, my, what is going on? Oh, really? <laughs> really? Four keys and all those locks? Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, okay. This is going to be trial and error. So that one. Oh, they get rid of all the... Were they meant to get rid of all of them? Hang on. Let's undo. If we got that key. Oh, okay. So the keys get rid of all the locks. 
that sort of makes it easier to be honest so if we jump you on there you to the left you on there then we can get you up to there then you can sort of come over this way which might help so from up here we can go to that point so what can we do with you you can go you can either go over that way i feel like getting to there would be a good a good shout if we can get something underneath you i just don't know how i can get this up and over i don't think i can so maybe you've got to come up and around this way for some sort of reason <laughs> can we do anything to get the rook over to there so what if you yeah, yeah 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 if we bring you down we do that we do that then you can get up to that point and then you can drop to there then you're in the right place so now we can just bring that over drop you on top and then that is direct hit you shut my battleship <laughs> okay level 22 have we added buttons gravity fed buttons boost if i get off the button it brings the door back okay so someone's got to stay stood on this i imagine it's probably the king boost so now the key's gone looking at where the king is we can only diagonal in so this piece is useless it may as well just sit on the button and then we use the king instead so jump up there and then from this point uh yeah i think i want to bring you down i think i need the rook to stand there and i just realized last time i think i called the bishop a rook or a rook a bishop we don't do words we do engineering so let's go and shove you there i think that allows this guy to go to there and get across yes and then we can just do that sort of thing nice right oh my goodness crazy horses <laughs> what if we got to make like a horse tower or something what is going on here so you get that over to there put you over to there i feel like the horse tower needs to be oh what side does it need to be on i don't know i feel like we'll need all the horses though so let's just move these out the way so you can get to there i then do want to try and tower on top of that one so if we <laughs> what is this if we do that sort of thing and you can get on there yeah actually if i could get one on here I think that might work. Trouble is, how do I get a horse on top of there? Oh no, we don't want it there, do we? We want it We want it over to the right, I think. I'm not convinced I can, but I'm going to try. Yes, I can. Yes, so then you can get to there and we've done it. Oh, banging. Right, so this level looks real confusing. We got buttons, we got keys and locks. I really don't know if I can win this game of chess, but I'm going to check just in case. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I've been holding that one since the start. Right. Let's go. And I reckon if we go over to here, we could press the button, which I think should allow the king to get across. Yeah, let's do it. So if we press that button, the king can go over to that point. We can then get off the button so the king can cross there. Uh, and we've, we've made a bridge. You know what that means? We need... Are you insane? A bridge review! It's a purple block spanning the gap. Controlled by a button, it allows the king to get across, or in this case, not. It doubles as a trap, mean <laughs> meaning the rook can then become the king itself. So therefore, I give this bridge a trap-worthy 7.1 out of 10. Bridge review! Okay, yeah, anyway, let's, let's undo that. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll get the king across and then we'll press the button again and then we can go get the key. Yay. Could I get you up to that point? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, I can get you to there and then king from on top of your head. Yeah, can jump up to that point. Okay, so the king can come over there and then king, I think, is just a button presser. Meaning we can come up and around. We can go onto that pillar. Then king gets off the button. You drop onto that point. Then over to there. Then king gets back on the button. And then boosh. Right. And then, <laughs> then we have what my audience demographic looks like in chess pieces. But yeah, I think we just got to make a knob tower and we're good. So if we do that sort of thing, we've got a very tall tower. Should I have done the tower in the middle? No, I don't think so. Because if we make this tower here, you can get to that point, then that point, and then down to the key. And then we just got to do the tower over this side, I think, so that you can go from that point up to there. Yeah, just build it on the other side like that. Because then, yes, yes, drop on the king and we are looking good. Anyway, but yeah, that was Chessformer. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did.
Sorry if I got confused calling the knight a rook and a rook a knight. I'm, I'm a rookie at chess. Did anyone smirk? I doubt that. If you did, shame. Shame. Peace, love, and shame. Bye, guys. Shame. Shame. Shame.